Hi Grade 6's! Welcome to the next video. This one is going to be talking about number 107, the flat zone. So in this one, there's a new note for everybody, and for everybody, this new note is going to involve something called a flat. And we've talked about flats before, but let's dive into it a little bit more. So, if you play the flute, trombone, or the euphonium, the new note for you is going to be called D flat. Not to be confused with regular D, D flat. Trumpets and clarinets, that new note is going to be E flat. Not to be confused with regular E, this one is called E flat. This is what a flat sign looks like. And so, if you have one of these signs, one of the flat signs in front of your note, much like the natural or the sharp that we talked about a couple of videos ago, that means that the note that this is in front of is going to be a flat note. So in this case, in this piece of music, we have a flat note uh, on D if you play the flute, uh, the trombone, or the euphonium, and then a flat, if you, an E flat if you play the trumpet or the clarinet. So, let's give it a shot. Make sure you get your instrument out. I'm going to play it slowly first, and then we're going to play it together, and then again a little bit faster. Here it is, the flat zone. Listen first. One, two, ready. <sighs> So, this new note might be a little bit trickier for some of you brass players, uh, because for trumpet players, you're going to be using a different fingering that you've never used before, which is two and, th and three. Trombone players, oh yeah, same for euphonium players, two and three. Uh, trombone players, you're going to be out in fifth position. So fifth position is way out here. It's not sixth position, and it's not fourth position. It's fifth. It's right in between those two. It's a little hard to find, so it might take some practice. So that was number 107, the flat zone. Let's play it together. But before we do, I want you to take a quick look at the key signature. Now remember, the key signature is at the very beginning of the music, and it tells you which notes are going to be flat or sharp or natural uh, throughout the entire piece of music unless it says otherwise. So in this one, if you play the flute, the trombone, or the euphonium, your key signature says that you need to play B flats, E flats, and A flats. So, if you see an A in your music, remember that it has to be an A flat. You might want to review what that looks like. You can go into your fingering chart or into past numbers or anything like that and you can take a look at that. A flats. If you play the trumpet or the clarinet, you're going to have your key signature is just going to be B flats. So that means you're going to play B flats instead of B naturals. Trumpets, that means that you're going to play this finger instead of this finger, right? For your Bs. Okay? Let's give it a try together. The flat zone. One, two, ready. <sighs> work. Let's play it again a little bit faster. Remember, you don't need to be able to play it with me first. You got to practice it and then we can play it together. Here it is. One, two, ready. <sighs> Nice work. That was number 107, the flat zone. 